Well, as the nation focuses on bringing awareness to the fight against breast cancer this month, there is news of a new local innovative procedure to help surgeons treating cancer patients. It helps surgeons when dealing with cancers and other breast abnormalities too small to feel. Here with us now from the Tour Infirmary is oncologist Dr. John Colfrey. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for so having me. It's always me. good, like, I mean, to hear of new innovative things. Um, before we focus on what this new device is, let's talk about the problems you run into when you're dealing with cancers too small to detect in examinations. How does that make life hard for you? How does it make it hard for the patient? Right. Well, as a breast surgeon, we have to be able to locate the cancer effectively, and we, we have to be able to get clear margins all the way around the cancer. So localizing it is very crucial in order for me to remove it effectively. And if you can't, I mean, do you, do, in some cases, do you have just to miss things because you just can't? Right, and if it's not localized correctly, it increases the rate of second operations to remove it. So it's very critical to have pinpoint accurate location. Right, it's like you want to know exactly what you're, you're focusing on. It's called the radioactive seed. Um, tell us about this and how do you use it? Let's just say you've got a patient right. and you want to use this. How do you use this on this compared to what is done now? Right, so in the past, we use a tiny little wire that is placed into a woman's breast directly into the cancer. The seed is really the progressive forefront of breast cancer surgery. So instead of impaling a woman's breast with a wire, we're now able to take a tiny radioactive seed the size of a grain of rice. We put that into the cancer and that emits a little low level radioactivity. And I use a probe and help map out directly what needs to be removed so we're extra precise. That's amazing. How do you get that seed into that patient? And the seed is placed with a tiny little needle that goes directly into the cancer. Amazing. You've got some, we've got some still images that you sent showing the best that we can show. I know people are seeing like a, a dark screen there. Explain what they're seeing and how this device works. Right. This is a fantastic picture. So if you look, you can see the radioactive seed, which is that little five millimeter pellet. And right next to it, you see a marker where the original cancer was biopsied. What's impressive about this specimen is it's so small. We are literally only removing exactly the amount of tissue that needs to be removed. And if you look, the cancer is directly in the center of the specimen. So we're getting much improved cosmetic results. We're taking out less tissue. How, how is this changing uh, the lives for people locally who are dealing with breast cancer? Right, it's important to know your options. Not everyone needs a full mastectomy. So when we're able to take out these tiny little specimens that you're seeing now, again, it allows a woman to preserve her breast and the cosmetic result is excellent. And this, this image here is, is also pertinent because we're able to pinpoint exact lymph nodes that need to be removed. Before, we would have to remove all of a patient's lymph nodes. Now we're able to take this little seed and target exact lymph nodes that had cancer in it originally that need to be removed. That's incredible because for, for the most part, a lot of women, not only are you facing a deadly disease, but to know that you're going to lose your entire breast or perhaps both breasts. And now you're saying you can actually localize it. That's correct. So you don't have to take out so much. In so many cases, you know, that's even more difficult to deal with for some women. Exactly. Breast conservation in 2016 is very possible. Okay, so what's happening locally with this? Where can people learn more about this? Are all doctors doing it? Is it covered, you know, health insurance? Right. So currently, at Turo, we're the only uh, hospital that's offering it. My partner and I, a gentleman by the name of Dr. Daniel Rupley, mm -hmm. who's a breast radiologist, he and I have teamed up to do this. And so right now, it's, it's at Toro, so. Okay, and have you had many patients yet that have been able to, to, to benefit from this? We have, I think we've completed about 20 patients and so far all of our results have been excellent. We've had nice clean margins, we've had good cosmesis, so hopefully we can keep it rolling. So doctor, the one thing you would want people to know who have loved ones or who are battling breast cancer with this new device, what is the one headline that comes out of this to give them hope? Right. You have to know your options. Don't let anyone push you into extra surgery. It's important for the patient to be educated and to know all of the surgical treatment options. Okay, thank you so much. Appreciate you educating us on thank this. You. Thanks Appreciate for coming it. in.